Hi friends, welcome back to Raising Readers, our online story time from the Alpha Park Public Library. I'm Miss Sarah and today's letter of the week is Y. Today Y is going to be for yellow. Today is our yellow story time. We only have two more story times, this one and one more, and we will finish the alphabet series we've done since December. So if you've been with us the whole way, congratulations. This has been really fun. And today we're going to talk about things that are yellow. Do you have any ideas about things that are yellow? Hmm. We can have yellow flowers. We have yellow foods like bananas. I'm sure you'll think of lots more things that are yellow. Let's get started with our wake up song. Let's wake up our hands. Let's wake up our feet. And let's wake up our heads. We'll bob our heads. Are you ready? Let's get started. Wake up hands, wake up hands. Wake up hands and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up hands, wake up hands, wake up and wiggle in the morning. All right, let's get your feet out. You can stomp, jump, wiggle your toes, however you'd like to do it. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Wake up heads, wake up heads, wake up heads and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up heads, wake up heads, wake up and wiggle in the morning. Good job. All right, snuggle up, let's rock together. Oh, friends who read together, together, together. Oh, friends who read together will stay friends for sure. Let's read a book together, together, together. Let's read a book together and always be friends. Great job, boys and girls. Let's read our first story today which is another Y word, yawn. <sighs> Do you ever yawn? A lot of times we yawn when we're feeling sleepy. We've got a bright yellow cover. Let's find out what happens in the book, Yawn. Yawn is by Sally Symes and Nick Sherratt. Sean gave a yawn while sitting on his mat Guess who he gave it to? A fluffy, scruffy cat. Have you ever noticed? Oh, I'm going to yawn now. Whew. Yawns are contagious. That means they spread from person to person. A lot of times if you yawn, someone near you will yawn or the other way around. And that's what's happening in this story. The boy gave the yawn. Sean gave the yawn to a cat. Cat gave a yawn as lazily she purred. Guess who she gave it to? A cheeping, chirping bird. Look at that big yawn. Yawn. Bird gave a yawn and pecked seed from a dish. Guess who he gave it to? A splishy, splashy fish. Fish gave a yawn while drifting in his bowl. And guess who he gave it to? A biggy, diggy mole. Mole gave a yawn, then rested from her dig. Guess who she gave it to? A snorty, snooty pig. Pig gave a yawn and dreamed of snacks and tea. Guess who he gave it to? A fuzzy, buzzy bee. Bee gave a yawn, worn out from making honey. Guess who she gave it to? Bee gave her yawn to a floppy, hoppy bunny. Bunny gave a yawn. You have a yawn there? <sighs> a 
how big can you make your mouth? As big as Bunny? Bunny gave a yawn, stretched out on his belly. Guess who he gave it to? An eggplant named Nelly. Oh, an eggplant, an elephant, <laughs> an elephant. Miss Sarah's reading sideways, whoops. <laughs> Bunny gave his yawn to an elephant named Nelly. Nelly gave a yawn and this is what she said. It's time to put our jammies on and go upstairs to bed. No more yawns, everyone is asleep. That is the book Yawn. I catch yawns very easily. That book made me want to yawn every other page. <laughs> All right, let's sing a song about a little yellow wagon. You might know this song. It's a version of Little Red Wagon. So if you have someone very little with you, this is a song where you bounce them. This is a bounce song. So it goes like this. Bumping up and down in my little yellow wagon. Bumping up and down in my little yellow wagon. Bumping up and down in my little yellow wagon. Won't you be my darling? And we can do the other verses. So next, a wheel falls off and our axle's broken. And so we lean over because our wheel fell off and our wagon is tipping. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. One wheel's off and the axle's broken. Won't you be my darling? Fixing my wagon with my hammer. Fixing my wagon with my hammer. Fixing my wagon with my hammer. Won't you be my darling? Let's get out your saw. We're going to saw now. Fixing my wagon with my saw. Fixing my wagon with my saw. Fixing my wagon with my saw. Won't you be my darling? Good job, boys and girls. That is a great song to incorporate tools. We don't have a lot of songs with tools. All right, so if you're out riding in your yellow wagon, it means it's a beautiful day outside, hopefully. And I know another song about sunshine. Do you know the song, Mr. Sun? Let's sing that together before we read our next book. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. You could even sing that when it's raining and ask the sun to come out. So there's a good fun song for you. Our second book today is one of my favorite authors. You may know this guy. This is Bear, Karma Wilson's Bear, and this is Bear Sees Colors. Bear has lots of good stories, and this one is about colors. I'm sure that yellow will be in here somewhere. Bear Sees Colors by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Mouse and Bear are walking. They are chitter-chatter talking. So much for them to do. And the bear sees blue. Blue flowers by the trail. Blue berries. Blue pale, blue, blue everywhere. Can you spy blue with bear? We're gonna say that every page for every color. You can say it with me if you like. Lots of blue. Along the trail hops hair. How do you do there, mouse and bear? Hair points up ahead and the bear sees, do you see our hint? Red, red blossoms, red cherries, red juicy raspberries, red, red everywhere. Can you spy red with bear? Lots of red things. Badger's at the pond with his old galoshes on. Galoshes are rain boots. Look there, badger bellows. And the bear sees, what's our hint? What's it gonna be? Yellow, drippy, 
sticky, oh, so yummy, honeycombs with yellow honey. Yellow, yellow everywhere. Can you find it just like Bear? Mmm, Bear's licking his lips. Bears love honey. Gophers out with Mole. They are on a little stroll. Bear spots them by the stream. And the bear sees green, green mint for making tea, green and tasty sweet peas, green, green everywhere. Can you spy green with bear? Raven, owl, and wren lay a picnic in the glen. These friends all gather round and the friends see brown chocolate cake brown and sweet brown cookies what a treat brown eyes brown hair friendly fluffy brown bear bear is brown colors colors everywhere can you find colors just like bear oh of course you can that's the ending We've got one more page, the end papers. That's Bear Sees Colors by Karma Wilson. Let's sing one more yellow song and then I can show you your craft today. So our last song together, oh no, we forgot the alphabet song. We haven't learned the sign for Y. All right, let's go back. Y is like this, pinky and thumb out. Stretch your hands, this one's a big stretcher. Pinky and thumb out, Y. Um, let's do our ABC song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Great job. All right, our last song together is going to be six little ducks, six little yellow ducks that went out to play. So if you can put up your hands, you have five fingers on one hand and you need one more to make six. So we're gonna start off with six little ducks. Six little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, yellow ones too, but the one little duck with the feather on its back, he led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. So we took one duck away, how many? Five little ducks that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, yellow ones too. But the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. quack, quack, quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. Five, take away one, four. Six little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, yellow ones too, but the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. So we're gonna do four, take away one, three. Three little ducks that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, yellow ones too, but the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. We have two ducks now. Two little ducks that I once knew. Fat ones, skinny ones, yellow ones too. But the one little duck with the feather on his back. He led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. One little duck. One little duck that I once knew, fat ones, skinny ones, yellow ones too, but the one little duck with the feather on his back, he led the others with a quack, 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 quack. He led the others with a quack, quack, quack. You got lots of quack practice today with that song. Whew. Oh my goodness. Let's see our craft for the week, okay? In your kit, you're gonna get a little envelope, and in that envelope, are pieces to make a beautiful flower pot craft. You'll have a yellow flower, an orange circle, a stem and a pot, 
You can even slide your stem inside the pot. So use your glue stick and put together a nice, pretty paper craft today. Our Y words this week are yarn and yo-yo and of course, yellow. All right, boys and girls, next week is our last letter. It is going to be the letter Z. And what will Z be for? I don't know. You'll have to come back and see next week for Raising Readers. Take care.